Hi, I'm glad you could join me again today. Today, let's do one that's a little more complicated than a lot of them that we've done. I think you'll enjoy it. Let's have them graphically run all the colors across your screen that you need to do this painting, and they'll come across in the same order I have them on my palette. Now, I've already covered the canvas with liquid white. It's wet and slick and ready to go, and I hope you are too. So let's go up here and do it. I'm going to take off today with a, a little bit of the blue, just a little bit of phthalo blue, and into that I'm going to add a little bit of Van Dyke brown right into the blue, just working on the brush here. Okay, let's go right up here. Now let's, let's do a little happy sky here, so maybe a little more brown. I want to dull that sky a little. There we go. There we go. Good. Today I thought we'd do a, let's do a painting of some docks. Got a, a lot of requests from people in Maine and Florida wanting, wanting some, some boats and a little dock scene, so see what we can do here. We'll just have some fun. And very quickly there, we'll just throw in a happy little sky. Well, I got this old brush going, same color, Van Dyke brown, a little bit of the phthalo blue. Let's go right down here. Once again, on a little, there we go. We just pull that across. Okay. Got it. Start at the bottom and work up, and that way, automatically, it mixes with the liquid white and gets lighter toward the horizon. And that's what we're looking for. Okay, now I'm going to take a nice, clean, dry brush and just blend the sky out a little bit. I don't want to spend a bunch of time in the sky today. I want to I think I'll put some buildings in this one. Show you, show you a super way of making old wood. Some beautiful old buildings. Okay, I just take your same old brush and go right into some titanium white. Pull it in one direction, load it full of paint. Let's go back up here. Now then, just the indication of a happy little cloud or two. There it is. Just floats around in the sky here and has fun. Just here and there, let it just sort of blend back, a little bit more color. There we go. Not like that. That'll give us indication of a few little clouds. And I use another clean brush. I have several brushes going here, so I don't have to stop and wash them all the time. The cameraman gets upset with me when I wash too many brushes. There we go. And we'll lift that and we have some great big billowy fluffy clouds just floating around in the sky here that easy there we are okay now I'm going into some blue and a little touch of the midnight black okay let's go back up here now maybe back here this is a, maybe like a little harbor. You can see a few little distant trees. Just use the corner of the brush. And just put a few little indications here and there. Far, far away. Far away. Touch, pull downward. Little touch of reflection underneath it. Just by pulling it straight down and very lightly going across. Now it's time to clean a brush. Cameraman's on his own. Now, right in between here, I want to tap this and create a little misty area and lift it up. Just let it all sort of blend together very softly. I don't want to be able to tell where one stops, the other one starts. Very soft, far, far away. And maybe a little closer here, maybe there's a little bigger, a little bigger tree. I'm going to take some brown, some black, and just... Okay, let's go right up here. Now, he lives. I'm just tapping this one in. Look at there. Drop it in, like so. And I'll go right into a little bit of the yellow. Just load a little color on there. Let's go back up here. Just want to put some little indication of a few highlights in this one. See? I'm really not interested in a lot of bushes in this one, so I'll just do this real quick. There. Okay. Now then, that gives us a happy little tree. Wash the brush again. Okay, 
Now then, I want to put a bunch of buildings in here. I'll show you an easy way of doing that. <clears throat> Let's go right into some brown here, I'm using the big brush. This is Van Dyke brown. Just go into it, load a lot of paint into the bristles. Pull it, pull it, wiggle it. That brings it to a nice sharp chisel edge. And don't be afraid to load some paint into the brush. We're gonna use a lot of brown today. Look at that brush, see how sharp it is? Good, let's go up here. Now then we gotta make some big decisions. I think we have a building that lives right there. There's the, one of the eaves. Now we gotta figure out where his roof is. Maybe it comes down like that. Here's the other side. See how easy you can just sort of lay these out? There's one. And you're still, at this point, you're really not committed. You're just having fun. Maybe there's another one. It comes, there it is. See, we can just bring all these together. It goes this way. And we need a front on this building. Just bring it right on down. And whatever goes in there, we'll turn into reflections. We'll just turn it right into reflections. No big deal. Grab it over here. Pull it down. Did you ever think you could make a building that easy using a big old brush? You can. You can. You can do anything. Maybe right in here we'll pull that down. I bet at home you're saying, boy, he has done it this time. She has got a mess going there. You may be right. There we are. I don't care if some of that goes into the water. It'll all turn into nice reflections eventually. Okay, here's the roof. And we're still not really committed. We're not committed until we start putting all the little highlights on. Then we have to make big decisions. There we go. Now then, let's put a few of those nice little highlights on there. I'm gonna go right into some white. Same old dirty brush. Pick up some of this. Sienna. Okay, let's look at the brush. Look at there. See all the colors happening in that brush? Okay, let's go back up here. Now then, this is where we start making decisions. Touch, just barely touch, and start working down. And let the brush shake and tremble a little bit. It really helps if you're a little bit nervous here. Look at there. Go back up here. Let it bounce along and play. Already it's beginning to look like old, old wood. Old wood's fun to make. I like old wood. I really like it better than new, shiny wood. Looks better in paintings to me. Okay, and you just sort of layer this on. You need that dark underneath though, so this light color shows. Otherwise you don't, you don't get it to showing much. There. Now then, we'll take the knife and let's put a few little indications of some boards in there. I'll go right into the brown, cut off a little hunk, just a little tiny bit, right on the edge of the knife, all right? Now then, a few little boards, little slabs, wherever you think they were to be. All I'm doing is just touching the canvas. Just touch it, touch it, touch it. Zoom. Put as many in or as few as you want. But you need that little roll of paint right out on the edge of the knife. There. Put one in there. <laughs> this old carpenter is like me. He just picked up whatever was available. Didn't matter to him. And we have to figure out where the side's going to be here. Maybe it's going to be right there. We'll start cutting that off. Now you could paint this whole building with a knife. I just sort of like this effect. This is something I've been working on for a while. I thought you would enjoy it too. I sort of like this effect. So now we have a dark edge there. Now let's put, a, let's put some roof on there. We'll use some black, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. Cut off a little roll of paint. Okay, let's go up here. Now, just gonna let that sort of just bounce along and play. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Just let it just bounce. Wherever, wherever. We're still not too committed at this point. Same color, a little bit lighter. Look at that, old, weathered. Boy, when you're out here on the water, you catch the devil. 
Why not? This is where all the pelicans and the seagulls park. There. A little bit of highlight right along the roof. Maybe a touch lighter on this side so it shows up. There we go. I think you can see that a little better. There. Okay. Now. We said there was going to be another building here. So put that there, pull him down, and I can begin adding some highlights to that. The dark sienna, a little bit of white, just tap it. Okay, let's go up here. If your roof's going to be right here, touch it, just let it wiggle. As I say, this is really where it pays to be a little bit nervous. Oh, look at that. I'm just barely barely grazing the canvas. Just barely, barely grazing it. The lighter, the better. Okay, now into that, I'll add a few boards. These little boards just help define, give it a little more interest, a little more detail. Look at there at all the little things. And you put as many as you want in yours. And maybe here at the top, it'd be a little more shadow, so you can put a little dark, just let it bounce along. Same over here, a little bit of dark, a little dark. Okay, now, now comes the fun, with a very dry brush, grazing it, just touch it, give it the least little pull, barely, barely touch, barely, barely touch. <laughs> Isn't that sneaky? Look at that. And you can pull it across like so to really make it look weathered and then go down. Creates all kinds of nice effects. Just here and there, pull across and then go down. Very lightly. Thought you'd like that. That really is a nice way of making old boards. And if you're making old barns or whatever. Okay, we need a, we need a happy door in here. So, just use a knife there. Drop that in real quick. There we go. Just a little door. Take a little bit of the light color. Go around. This makes the door stand out a little better. Okay, maybe, tell you what. Maybe there's a little window right here. Just come across. A little bit of brown. A little white. Just to highlight him. There you go. Now, this, this old building here. I'm going to define this edge a little bit more so it stands out. This is where we need the little knife. We can sneak in here with this little knife, see? There. Bring that edge up. Here, right here. Another big door. Drop it in, drop it in. There we go. Little brown and white, but a little touch of highlight right around the door. And that makes it stand out. Okay, maybe there's a, maybe, maybe, there's a walkway around here. And it lives right here. So we will just pull this out. Once again, you don't care what's happening in here. You're gonna need some dark in here for, for shadows. You can just lay any old thing in there. Sink it right up between those buildings. Cut this off right there, wherever you want it. It's the old walkway here. Here's a little bit of that gray color, just very lightly. Just enough to give it a little highlight and come around. Some little edges here and there. Okay, now with a clean brush, I'll grab this dark color. We can begin creating the illusion of reflections. Just like that. Now, I'll tell you what, just use a little bit of black here. Maybe there's a few, a few old posts here. You have to have something to hold that up. There they go. Take a little brown and white, put a touch of highlight on them. Just, just touching it, like so. 
down with a brush, I'm gonna grab the bottom of those, just pull them down, go across. And that quick, we have, we have some reflections. Take a little liquid white, just sort of work a little of that here and there, just so it creates a little sheen of light playing across the water. See, and that, that makes it look like water, that easy, that easy. Okay, here. Let's have some fun. Maybe there's another big building in here. Load that two-inch brush back up, and here it is. There it is. We'll just put it. Just make a decision. Throw it in. Shoot, this is your world. Do anything you want to do in here. Now, maybe it comes right down. Right down, right down, right down, right down. Just like so. Let's fill that all in. Here, all I'm doing is just, just basically covering up the canvas with paint. See? You can bring it to any point that you want it. Don't want too much overhang here, so I'll just make the building a little bit wider. There we go. Wherever you want him to be. Okay, let's have some fun on this old building. Tell you what, while we're doing that, maybe Maybe the walkway comes right out through here, too. We don't know. We don't care. It does now, anyway. See, that helps push everything back. Helps create the illusion of distance. Now then, let's, let's play a little bit here, right into the dark sienna, the white, back and forth. Okay, let's go up here. Let's do it. Touch. Just let this brush, see, it's just barely hitting. Can you see what's happening? I want this to look like old, old weathered wood. Look at that, look at that. Look like old wood. I really thought you'd enjoy this. This is sort of a, a neat, neat way to, to do this. Just opens up a whole new world of old buildings. Now see, this one in my mind over here was farther away, so I smoothed this a little more. This one, I'm gonna leave rough and I'm gonna leave it ragged, because it's closer to you, you'd see more detail. Okay, I'm gonna use a little knife here, and a little blue, and a little touch of white, a little bit of brown. Pull it out and cut across. Tiniest little roll of paint out here, okay? Now then, I just wanna just go right in here and just sort of move it back and forth so you get little in there. Now you can take the knife and smooth that, pull it in that angle. Now if you want to create some shadows in this old building, you can take a little bit of black on your brush. And once again, just let it bounce and tap and play. Look at that, look at that. There. That's fascinating to me. Okay, let's, let's put a few little, maybe this Got some doers in here like this. See there? A little bit of black on the knife or brown, either one, whatever is dark. Like that. Maybe here and there you can make out the indication of a board, whatever. Okay. Maybe there's gonna be, we'll do it right there. There's a window right there. I don't know what all these old buildings are, they just look nice, so we drop them in. put a little doer like that, see? Isn't that sneaky? Now then, tell you what let's do. Let's put a happy little boat right here. I'm gonna go right into the Van Dyke brand. I'm using a number three fan brush. Okay, let's go right up here. Now you gotta make a decision, where does he live? Now let's put him right there. There's his front, and he comes right around, and goes around, bloop, and there's his back. Right now, all we're doing is just laying in some paint, just to get a basic shape, like so. Bring it around, shoom. And then the other side, sort of see these things in your mind. And he starts off really looking terrible. There we go, just begin forming him, like so. Now then we can begin playing a little bit. Add a little white to that brush. And this is the front. Just bloop, put that in. A little bit more of the white. Now we've got to 
to define where our edges are going to be. There it comes. Comes right on around. A little bit showing on the back. Now, very lightly, begin laying it in. See, this boat's sort of looking a little bit toward you. So, now then, with a little of the dark color on the brush, I want to just grab the bottom and pull down because there'd be a nice reflection underneath here. And this is also the way you sort of straighten him up a little bit. Take out any any deformities you have in your boat. Sometimes I do some boats that have some deformities. A little bit on the other side, and we'll leave that very dark. A little tiny, tiny bit of light right there. Just enough to give us an indication. Pull that down, like so. Very lightly, very lightly. Go across. Okay, now then. Need a place for the a fellow to set in there when he's out fishing in this boat, so we'll cut across a little bit of brown. Okay, let's go up here. And we'll give him a little, little house here. Come up this way and down that way. See, that's all there is to it. Give him a little place. He needs a little place to sit. Now then, on this side over here, a little bit of color. And then on the other side, let's go this way here. Just a little bit more. Now then, let's put him a door in there. He's gonna have a way to get in and out. I'll use a little black here on the small knife. Give him a little door right there. Remember, this is sort of the, an angle. You're seeing a three-quarter view, so you wouldn't see all of it. Let's give him a, gonna have a window up here so he can see. I don't want him to be driving around out there blind. Shoot, he will probably drive like I do then. So, a little of the liquid white. To that, I'm going to add the smallest amount of blue and brown, just like there. Cut across it. Let's put a few happy little water lines. Go right around, like so. Put as many or as few of these in yours as you want. Just drop them in. They help create the illusion of water. Make it a few of these little sparkles here and there. Now then up here, take a least little touch of the bright red. Least little touch. Okay, right here. Just barely touch a little bit right there. A little right over there. Just put a little hat up here on that. Kind of have him a little hat. Maybe, 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 yep, yep, look at here, look here. Maybe there's a little, little mask up there. And we'll, we'll get crazy, we'll do another one back here. Make this one bigger. There we go. Least little touch of light on that. Bloop, bloop. Just drop it in, here and there. Just enjoy. Okay. And we'll put a little thing across there. Now, let's take a little liquid white, cut the knife across on the knife. And that's, maybe there's a few little wires. Go right down here. A few little, little pieces of rigging. Zoom. Zoom. A couple over here. However many you want. It's up to you. There you go. That'll give you an idea of a nice, simple, easy way to make a happy little boat. Okay, back into my dark color here. Let's finish up this walkway. Put some color in there. This is just, just applying some base color right here. I'm really not worried about detail. I tell you what, I tell you what. I want a nice post right there. Nice, big, strong post. Put another one there. See, you can put as many old posts as you want in yours. Here's one. There's one. There's another one. Oh, look at all them son of a guns. They've had a hard life out here. Maybe there's one that goes right on off the canvas right there. Okay. Now, a little bit of highlight touch. Give it a little pull. Just barely touch. Give it a pull. 
There we go. There we go. Right here is one. Okay. Okay, maybe. Yep. Maybe there's an old post that comes across here. Now you can just get carried away here and keep going and going and going. Just want to show you some ideas on, on how to do some of these fantastic things because you'll enjoy them. I'm going to go into my dark sienna, a little bit of the white. Just touch. Add a little black to that. I want it darker. All right, there. Let's go up here. I want to make this look like old wood. Follow the angles. Just touch it. Let it bounce. Just let it bounce. Barely, barely grazing the canvas. Here we go. Touch. Touch. Now this old wood here, been a lot of people walked on it. It wouldn't be as rough as this building. It'd be a little bit smoother. So to make it a little smoother, take the brush very lightly, pull it. Just barely touch. Look at that. Now, let's put the indication of a few boards here. Just here and there. Let them get bigger as they come towards you. Wider, more distance between them. There we go. Very lightly. Grab it, give it a little pull. You can also take a little of this black and create the illusion of a few shadows and just pull it. Look at that. Take my knife, a little bit of the red, just for color's sake, and we'll put a little red right on top of these posts. And I think we've got a finished painting. And with that, I'd like to wish you happy painting. God bless. See you next time.